It's the project briefing meeting by board members and partners of the River State Cassava Processing Company to intimate Governor Nyeson Wike on their level of preparedness ahead of his commissioning. The National Anthem. The joint venture company owned by the River State Government, the Dutch Government and Shell, located in Afamino Yigwe local government area, is projected to process 45,000 metric tons of cassava tubers to thousands of metric tons of cassava flour per annum and in turn create thousands of direct and indirect jobs across the agro-value chain, including livelihoods for 3,000 smallholder farmers. It will engage over 3,000 youths in the cassava food chain and has the potential to put the youth out of the streets by way of employment. It will also generate foreign exchange for the state and enhance our GDP. We are here to keep you posted with the status of the project, its attendant benefits to the state, where we are now, when it will be commissioned, our challenges and encumbrances, and the way forward. We will have a direct employment of 150 people, but through the multiplier effect that exists in the agricultural sector, 15,000 people will have some form of economic engagement or the other as a result. We are going to be processing 45,000 metric tons of cassava tubers into 12,500 metric tons of cassava flour, which is going to be the end product. For Governor Wiki, the company upon completion will upscale the economy of the state through job creation. But he also hopes that in future, the company will be fully driven by the private sector, as River State Government currently holds 70% share. This is a key for us to move forward. I commend you, and I believe that uh, River State Government will have done well to make sure that this uh, company uh, is still a share, has not run away. And that score has not run away. If they have run away, we have the capacity to make sure that it works. The River State Cassava Processing Company is an additional drive by the state government to diversify the state's economy, especially with the disruption caused by the COVID-19 pandemic across the world. From Port Jeffrey Uzongo, Channels Television News.